I look back on it as a young man's wonderful adventure, <laughs> a lot of it, <laughs> with, with some bad and some serious and some dangerous moments. The goal was freedom, but you had to dare to be free. One of the greatest real-life escape stories of World War II is the tale of a young Kiwi soldier. He carried a terrible injury, but his repeated attempts to escape Nazi camps made him a living legend. Walter Babington Thomas, a.k.a. Sandy, CB, DSO, MC and Bar, ED, Silver Star, finished his career as Major General, commanding tens of thousands. But he started as a gutsy lieutenant from Rewaka, itching for adventure keen to make a name for himself. In the same way he lived his whole life, Lieutenant Sandy Thomas was back to active service, back to his beloved 23rd Battalion, ready for the next adventure. I think I was still 21, wasn't I? Yeah. I was 21. I mean, I had my 21st birthday in England. I was 21. <laughs> the start of life. <laughs> By the end of the war, age 25, Colonel Sandy Thomas was New Zealand's youngest ever battalion commander. He finally retired, Major General Sandy Thomas, commander of Southeast Asian Land Forces. He now lives in the small Queensland town of Bow Desert. He should have been a pirate back in the old days, I think. He did done very well. <laughs> so, anyway, what's next? 